Now you can do this with existing files on your computer, but if you want to follow along this example, feel free to download the zip file in the instructor notes. When you unzip that file, you'll have a folder much like this one with about 50 photos. Okay, so what I've done thus far is just created a new file in idle and I called it rename underscore files dot pi. And inside that I've created an empty function by the same name. Then I added comments of the two main things I have to do in my program. By the way, notice that the function right now is pretty empty. And if I saved and ran the program, it would essentially do nothing. The first thing I have to do is get the file names from a given folder. So Google can help with that. Let me just type in find file names in a folder in Python. Now I read through the results and I got to this stackoverflow.com page. And here I read that there is this thing called os.lister, which will get you everything that's in a given directory. Now it turns out that there is a module in Python called os, short for operating system, and that has a function inside it called lister, which as its name suggests, lists everything that's in a given directory. So let's add this to the code and see what it does. Now this function lister takes in a path of the folder that contains our photos. So I'll go back to my folder, copy its address, and paste it. Now for those of you that are on a Mac, you can use a document in the instructor notes that will help you get the path of your folder. On a Windows machine, however, right before where the path begins, I will add this letter R. And R stands for raw path, and it tells Python, hey, take this string as it is, and don't interpret it any other way. So here, let me just save this in a variable and print that out. Let me save and then run. And oh wow, we get a list of all of the file names inside that folder. It's an ugly looking list, but a list nonetheless. All right, step one of the program is done.